Welcome to the vendor training course, REO Trash Out. In this course, I will discuss the proper way to trash out a property. Let's begin. The trash out and corresponding initial made services are an extremely important part of making the property marketable. The trash out includes the removal of all interior and exterior debris. Interior debris is removed per the investor guidelines. All debris should be disposed of in accordance to all local laws and regulations. To learn more about properly documenting your debris removal tasks, watch the Cubic Yards course. Let's start with some of the necessary tools you will need to complete a trash out. These include a trailer, a placard and marker, a camera, trash bags, trash cans, a wheelbarrow, a broom and a dustpan, a furniture dolly, a rake, a shovel, a hammer, a cordless drill, a tape measure, and a ladder. Additionally, you will need safety glasses, gloves, and boots. Before starting any work, verify that you are at the correct property. Next, evaluate the property before beginning the trash out to identify any unique circumstances or equipment needs. Additionally, you will want to ensure no personal property remains in the home, as determined by the individual client's stated value thresholds. If you encounter a property with personals, provide a bid to remove and store those items for 30 days. To learn more about distinguishing personal property from debris, watch the Identifying Personal Property course. We generally do not instruct you to proceed with the trash out until all remaining personals have been reviewed by the client and they have advised us on how to move forward. However, you should follow the client specific parameters. To protect the property from further damages, you should still complete the winterization. Additionally, to prevent the asset from incurring citations for unmaintained landscaping, cut the grass if needed, regardless of the season. Prior to starting the debris removal process, take before photos of the entire property. This includes exterior and interior photos. In these before photos, a placard should be present displaying the estimated amount of debris in cubic yards being shown in the photo. This will help determine accurate cubic yard count. To learn more about cubic yards and utilizing placards, view the Measuring Cubic Yards course. Now you are ready to start removing the debris. When removing debris, take photos of the truck at all stages. First you will want to measure the truck and take a before photo of it with a placard illustrating its dimensions. As you fill the truck with debris, take photos of the truck one-fourth full, half full, three-fourths full, and full. You should also take during photos of the debris being moved from the property and being placed into the truck. When placing the debris into the truck, make sure you first break it down. This will maximize the amount of space available in the truck. One person should be dedicated to staying near the truck and loading debris. Debris should be separated by recyclables, hazardous material, metal, and other debris when loaded. Larger and heavier debris that cannot be broken up should be placed into the truck first, and then surrounded by smaller debris to fill in the empty space. This will salvage valuable space in the truck and reduce ambiguity in estimating cubic yards. Debris is removed from the property by starting on the highest level floor typically the attic. You will work your way down to the lowest level floor, which would be the basement if one is present. Use rolling bins or trash cans strapped to dollies to remove the small debris. This improves efficiency and reduces fatigue. Debris should be removed from hallways and stairs for easier traffic flow. In addition, all hooks, nails, and hardware from draperies and blinds must be removed from the walls. Note that as it relates to the disposition of debris, it is never acceptable to keep or sell any of the items removed from the property. The removal of exterior debris does not only mean cleaning up litter, this includes removing all natural debris as well. Leaves should be raked up, then bagged or placed on a tarp. To learn more about these two leaf removal methods, watch the Landscaping Services course. Other natural debris that should be removed includes items such as loose branches and twigs. For REO properties, clients will occasionally solicit bids or a request to remove trees. If submitting a tree removal bid, include the following information, equipment needed for removal, the estimated labor hours and disposal costs, and specific details of how you will remove the tree. To learn the best way to dispose of large fallen trees, watch the tree removal course. Once debris has been removed, 
Take after photos from the same angle as the before photos in each room. Photos of debris loaded into the trailer are not acceptable as the only after photos. Now you are ready to perform MAID services. To learn the proper way to complete these services, watch the training course MAID services. I hope you found this course to be helpful. To learn more about performing services at a property, watch the additional training courses available.